Michael Keating. Michael Keating from Keating Media Commissioner. Labor and the Greens have accused the government of being soft on multinationals. How much more revenue can be effectively obtained out of big international companies? Well, I, I did mention that figure that uh, we are cleaning up a lot of the past years, the, the MAL, the, the diverted profits tax. Uh, the new transfer pricing rules have given us the ability to force these companies to bring their sales onshore. So that's the starting point, at least to know how much is being actually sold in Australia and then we only have the argument about the expenses. If you don't have the sales, it's hard to have the argument about the other side. So that's been quite useful. I did mention that all of our effort is not just cleaning up the past years but agreeing a way forward into the future so that we can assure ourselves that there's nothing more to get. So we're pretty confident that we're coming to agreement with most. One or two we won't and we'll go to court and we look forward to that. Uh, they're pretty intransient and uh, they, don't, they often say that we in Australia have got further than any other country and uh, they don't want to necessarily agree with us uh, because that might get around the world, you know, what they've done. So we've done well in the $4 billion for past years, $2.9 billion of which was out of seven large companies in that e-commerce and uh, energy and resources area across that related party debt transfer pricing and marketing hubs. So we've, we've, we've done some significant amounts, but we're, the total annual gap is only two and a half billion. When I say only, it is two and a half billion. So think about that, uh, about how much of that could be these foreign companies. So you're not talking about the 50 billion, 30 billion that some people have thrown around. So we're not complacent. We're going to continue with it. Uh, but we feel we're pretty well got a good coverage and assurance there now.